Okay, I'm back. Um, time to make the um, clipping mask and make the buffalo text, the buffalo image go into the text. And you can see I have my text layer right underneath. I put the buffalo on top. Remember, you can drag these layers and drop them so that they go in between each other. And all you have to do, all he mentioned to do was hold down the Alt key and then click in between here once you see the icon change. So I hold down the Alt key. And there it is. There's the icon change. You see the three little cir circles by my cursor. And left click. Okay. And now I've got the image of the buffalo inside my um, my font. Okay. And I'm not really sure if the uh, if the effect is is working all that great. To make the effect better, I probably need to go to my text layer and add some other things like he did, which was layer style stuff. Layer, layer style, you know, maybe a stroke is what he did. He added a stroke around it. He used a red one. Maybe I'll add a light blue one. Click OK. Change the pixel weight to 2. Click OK. Now I've got a blue outline around my font. If I want to drop shadow, I can um, double click on off the, right there, just click here to open it up and go to drop shadow and that should add a drop shadow. Um, I might need to make it a little bit bigger. Size and spread. And change the angle. Okay, got all the way so you can see that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Click OK. And then another thing that I could do is I could go to my background layer and I could go to image adjustments and I could let's see here image adjust let's see here and maybe I don't know posterize or threshold maybe desaturate let's try that image adjust desaturate and so I make the background layer uh, black and white and then I have color inside the text Isn't that nice um, and that could be something that would look pretty good alright I can always go back and double click on my stroke here to open up my stroke and maybe make the um, stroke a little bit bigger make it on the inside like he did and click OK and now I have the font and Yellowstone showing up a lot nicer. I've got a clipping mask. I've got an image on the top layer with a clipping mask. All I had to do was hold down the Alt key and put the cursor in between the two layers when I saw the um, symbols click. I've got some layer style effects on my text layer. And then my background layer, I desaturated. Image adjustments desaturate to turn it black and white. And I'm done, and it's pretty cool.